Orange vs. Splice. And the first map of this best of five series, of course, is Nagrand Arena. Welcome everybody to the Grand Arena. It's Splice versus Method Orange and Ben Ruki once again representing his fantastic transmog. Oh, we see a little tiny robot pet coming out from Ben Ruki named Snuts Money. Ben Ruki always bringing his homies with him to cheer him on in the arena, giving him that extra power. Taking one out of Melman's book. The pet that, the pet that reminds him of Snuts. Wow, Mez getting bopped on his <laughs> mount. They are YOLO as hell right now on the Absurge. Full paralyzed into the full leg sweep. SM work all the time. How is Absurge going to deal with the pressure caught in that Fist of Fury? Into the Blood Elf Silence. What do they have to follow it up? Another, another Blood Elf Silence. <laughs> what do they have to follow it up? Another Silence. Absurge, though, is still so ballsy. Holding on to his links. Pops his ascendants. He kited that opener without linking. How is he still alive? Down at 30%. Venruki's not giving up the chase. Order Master, he paralyzes the Order Master. Yo, Mez is going to reconnect. Now getting rooted up, Absurd is still down to half HP, Born Good getting counter pressured in the meantime, forced to bubble, Absurd getting the heals off, still holding on to both links. Absurd is so ballsy. I don't know how he has both links, I'm going to be completely honest with you, but the whole full Hodge is going to land, Jelly Beans is going to deter to avoid more of that CC, Fist of Fury coming out from Ben Ruki is going to force the link, but still Absurd holds on to that trinket, that is an unbelievable uh, you know, presence of mind coming out from this blue, can he survive long enough to let his team take out Method Orange, there's a silence going out in Absurd and he's just going to stone form that right away, so there's a 25 second window without a trinket here, Hex is trying to go out. He is DR'd on that stun, so he knows that. Oh, oh There's a D Oh, the full leg sweep oh, as I say that. Oh my gosh, Absurd could very well go down right here as the second link is already used. 10 seconds left on that trinket. Can he stay alive long enough? The full cyclone's gonna land on a Ven Rookie from Walter Bear, trying to keep his blue alive. Desperately born good without a trinket, without a bubble. Is also a bit scared moving forward into this match. But Absturge, he's gotta be feeling the heat right now right about now. He has that trinket available to him, but no links. Yeah, he's looking for a Hex, actually. He's going to get gripped on it, trying to get a heal off here. Uh, Mez holding on to that Mind Freeze forever, and Absurd is having a nightmare as he goes into the full Fist of Fury, into the Blood Elf Silence, and he falls to the pressure of Method Orange. Mez still in a bit of trouble here. Walla not giving up uh, damage here, but Vinergy does get a nice Paralyzed, stopping his damage. Mez will survive. Mez is not an easy man to kill. If I had to put probably the hardest person to kill on the game, it would probably be Mez. <laughs> he is the lord and savior Mez, after all, I mean, he earned that title, because he is so very hard to kill. Shout out goes to Mez in that YouTube video where Mez actually 1v5s in like that subscriber. Do uh, you, you see like those, those, those subscriber things? I think it was between Sidu and Venriki, where like uh, each, uh, each one of them brought in their own team, their own five-man roster, and Mez actually just 1v5'd them. It was pretty remarkable, but uh, there we go. Method Orange taking game number one against Splice, and uh, Van Ruki and Mez running those double Blood Elves are very scary. The double Blood Elf silence, and they it's don't triple, it's triple Blood Elf. Triple Blood Elf. Triple. Oh my gosh! Holy crow in chat, boys! But for real, this is going to be one hell of a series. Can Absturge survive long enough to be able to take on Method Orange? I wonder if we're going to see like a different healer come out from Abster today. You think he's just going to go to like a, a non-blue to try to prevent it? Or do you think he's going to stick with the Shaman? I, I don't even think it matters if he's a blue. I think they're still going to go after him. <laughs> yeah, healer, probably. Healer is the face of WoW Arena. Like, that's going for face. So, no matter what healer he plays, I'm pretty sure they're going to be going after him. <laughs> Windwalker DK is the hunter of uh, Hearthstone. <laughs> yep. It is, it is. That's what it is. Face Dude, hunter. Dude, the hunter is getting face huntered. Jelly Beans is a hunter, and he's getting Dude, face hunted by it. I actually... <laughs> It's true. I'm actually obsessed with the versatility. Like these guys literally have a blood they have a win a monk, a DK, and a holy paladin on alliance, and a monk and a DK and a holy paladin on horde. 
specifically to have that arcane silence available to them. And it looked like it worked out for him, man. But here we go. We're going to be jumping into game number two, which is going to be Tolveron Arena. Welcome everyone to Tolveron Arena. It's Splice versus Method Orange. Uh, both teams sticking with the same compositions available to him, but Absturge brought it to Tolveron. And do you think that this is going to give him the edge to be able to survive against this Windwalker DK comp? Uh, we saw it go really well for him in the last series, but I, I also I think he grounded like two Hodges and a Strangulate yes. against the other comp. So <laughs> unless he's basically playing in the future. <laughs> it's going to be really hard for him regardless. Like, he needs to time travel and be like, Hodge comes out at 22 seconds, and uh, after just kind of taunting us, he's shaking his butt at us. I didn't even know that emote existed. <laughs> I did. It's his dance. <laughs> but here we go. Benriki's going to connect on to Absurge right away, running across the map. They had to kill the Cap Totem right before the Leg Sweep, but the Leg Sweep goes off. Chi Burst as well into the Fist of Fury. He's going to get actually Cycloned by Walter Bear. So a nice Cyclone coming out on that Fist of Fury, but does it even matter? He's going to go ahead and cleanse himself and heal himself up through that with that Glyph, uh, but he's using that Wind Walk as well, trying to get away, trying to heal himself up without using too many defensive cooldowns. He's going to catch one heal. Still has that Ascendant, still has Trinket, and still has both those links available to him. But Born Good on the back foot is taking a whole bunch of pressure from this incarnation. He has his wings, his execution, or, or his wings, and Crows is going to connect onto him, but it actually gets cycloned up by Walter Bear. I don't know if that is a good move to cyclone up those crows. I mean, regardless, Born Good still has a lot of defensives to rotate through. He's actually playing pretty greedy. Uh, he might have to bubble here. He's still dipping dangerously low. Full strangulate over onto Absurge. He's trying to hold onto the stone form. Absurge once again with balls of steel. Born Good forced to bubble and a game of chicken between the healers. Absurge is going to come out ahead. Uh, Born Good now with that bubble fading could be in trouble. Absurge trying to kite. Nice freedom out from Jelly Beans, giving Absurge a little bit of mobility here. He's trying to ground the potential incoming CC. Trying to line aside Born Good. He does not want to get hodged up, but the leg sweep connects regardless. He's going to trinket an aura mastery and drop the link. A lot of cooldowns out from Absurge here in that setup. Mez getting cloned up by Walter, but I think Mez stole it. Who is he going to throw the clone on? Venruki actually getting trapped up. Good trap from Jelly Beans. Going to stop a lot of damage. Born Good caught into the bash. Murder of Crows coming out. Born Good's going to trinket. He's going to use a bop and a bit of an overlap with with the trinket and the bop at the same time. Maybe Splice can find an opportunity here. Absurd needs to pre-link the next setup or he's surely going to go down. He tried to. He dropped the link. They killed it instantly and they don't even go for it. He needs to top himself, but he's got nothing remaining. A uh, full trap, or actually a half trap over onto Born Good. Mez seems to be the target for now, uh, but Venruki is going to reconnect and surely Absurd is going to go down in the next stun. He's trying to get away. Desperately, there's the Fists of Fury. Mez and Venruki looking for the kill. Full clone onto Walter. They can't support. Cheebers connects. Venruki comes back blood out silence to finish the job into another one into a strangulate he stone forms a one second strangulate and barely stays alive riptide after riptide and so <laughs> how are you alive absturge make sure to give him some freaking gcd live lords in chat because he really should not be alive right now full trap lands out on to born good mez is the kill target for now as jelly beans and his feral druid reconnect once again absurd still somehow alive through all that fist of fury coming out from ven Rookie trying to land the nail in the coffin on Absurge, but he says, not today, not right now. I am the blue and I will survive. He's going to go ahead and use that stone. He's going to use that wolf form and get across the map away from this scary double melee, but you can't do that for him from a monk for too, too long. Then Rookie's going to reconnect on him once again. He's looking for the hex. He's going to juke at the same time. Will he juke Van Rookie to land the full hex? The paralysis goes out on to Absurge and Van Rookie's going to line a sight for now, waiting for his DK friend to get to him so they can go and land on the Absurge, but the leg sweep goes out onto Walter Bear. Looks like they're trying to swap the damage over onto him. The Grip Fist of Fury onto Absurge into the DR Hodge onto Walter Bear. Walter Bear is going to get out of that CC and finally use that wall, and then they're going to silence up Absurge out of that. But Mez is still in a lot of trouble as Born gets put into that DR Bash into a now a full trap. Is this going to be the end of Mez? The Lord Mez himself trying to stay alive as he is in a 3v1 situation. Born gonna actually caught into a full hex from Absurge, and Mez still in a lot of trouble. Execution sentence and wings going to come out from board can keeping mez alive for now cycle landing out on the born good and mez oh. is not out of the water just yet 
Look lava at the... burst after lava burst. Absurd is so salty right now. He wants to punish Mez. Fist of Fury onto Absurd. He's got no cooldowns remaining. Mez is dipping low at the same time. AMS has faded. Who's going to fall first? Born Good trying to connect some heals. Pops the Ore Master. He needs to spam some casts. Walter looking for a clone here potentially onto Born Good. Doesn't seem like he wants to get it actually. Paralyze over onto Absurd. He's desperately clinging onto life right now. Venruki still right on his back. Mez looking to reconnect here shortly. Walter looking for a clone. Full clone onto Born Good. Mez though. Is the hardest player probably in the game to kill. Will he fall to the pressure? Down at 40% HP. Born good trying to keep him up. Full leg sweep onto Walter. Absurd stone, stone forms out of the strangulate silence to get some heals onto Walter, keeping him very stable right now. Uh, Jelly Beans looking for a trap here. He locks Born good on his cast, traps him out of the lockout. Mez in a lot of trouble with a full hex over onto Venruki. These are the setups that they need to get a kill, but Mez does not care. This man cannot die. How is he alive right now? The main going out onto Borgen into the full cyclone and Mez still uh, once again alone from his healer but he's still somehow surviving through it all. Looks like they're going to keep going on to Walter Bear. Full Hodge out on to Absurd as Walter Bear has no walls available to him for an entire minute. Born Good being put into the DR trap in the background as Mez has crows on him and a whole bunch of damage goes out but Splice cannot get through the defense that is Mez. Born Good getting locked out on a cast as well as uh, it looks like Absurd is actually pushing in they want to nail in the coffin Mez getting so so low they're swapping it over on to born good born good has that bop available to him but it looks like he's gonna hold on to it for now and he actually gets kicked by Walter Bear. he can't bop himself for a little while longer he's gonna bop the bash as soon as it happens and it looks like born good's gonna be okay for now but the survival hunter is shooting what? right through that what? bop as if it's not even it's there dying. how is Jelly he alive right so now much damage 4% HP, 2% HP, Jelly Beans trying to finish him off, 9%, 7%, Born Good trying to cling to life right now, Walter trying to reconnect, at the same time a full paralyze on the Absturge, Walter in a bit of trouble here, Born Good getting trapped up at low HP, Walter in full retreat, Absturge drops the link, are they going to go into Born Good, seems like they are, he's got Bubble coming up in 8 more seconds, can he stay alive that long, Jelly Beans is still just doing so much damage, he's going to survive, his Bubble's going to come up on CD, and I don't know how many close calls we're going to have in this game, Absurd's caught into that full fist of justice. Doesn't look like any CC out just yet. Venruki getting trapped up. Born Good trying to get in line of sight to dispel. Gets him out. Mez still under fire. Dampening is kicking in. How much longer can Mez stay alive? Born Good spamming out the cast. Avenging Wrath coming up in about 14 seconds. It's looking actually pretty good for Meth and Orange right now. Absurd gets gripped into the fist of fury. Walter could go down. He's down at 38%. He's got his survival instincts. Absurd pops the ore mastery to top off his team. Full bash over onto Born Good. His Jelly Bean's looking for the trap. It doesn't look like he is in position. Lands a full trap. Born good trinkets out. They're going all in, I think, on the Absurd here shortly. Walter's still the target for now. However, Absurd is able to easily heal through it. Incarnation out for Walter. How much can he get done? He's getting bursted. Big crits out from Mez. Walter trying to stay alive, and Absurd is still doing it. Walter in the Fist of Fury. How are you alive? How are you alive? Full Hodge on the Absurd. Surely, touch of death comes out from Van Ruki, and down goes Walla Bear in Method Orange, taking game number two. How did they survive that? Born Good actually at 1% health there at a moment. But regardless of Tolveron Arena, Method Orange is going to take game number two. And all of a sudden, Splice is one game away from being eliminated from the tournament. Holy moly. Like I'm actually going to die if we have more games like that. <laughs> I'm going to die too, buddy. <laughs> holy crow, dude. That's that's crazy. Can we get some holy crows in the chat? Oh my gosh. Make sure you guys are giving your energy to the players that need it the most. Splice down two games at this point. Have a lot of games to make up for. But they made it to 11% dampening. It's actually unbelievable. It's crazy that Born Code was able to live through that. But here we go. We're going to be jumping into game number three and potentially match points match point for splice and just a reminder everybody this is the lower bracket series between method orange and splice the team that loses this series will be eliminated completely from the tournament and uh, the team that wins will continue on in that lower bracket and method orange up to zero they got to be feeling pretty good man they got to be feeling pretty good indeed uh, just a reminder everybody we'll be jumping back into these games tomorrow at 5 p.m eastern if you want to make sure to watch all the way I know. I know. We're going to be doing the second round of the upper bracket as well to determine who's going to the semifinals, but we're going all the way to the finals tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. Ho, oh, baby. <laughs> oh my god. 
I mean, Tolvron might have been their best map. I don't know really what they can go for aside from that. I mean, I don't I don't think Blade's Edge would work for them very well. Maybe it could. Um, Maybe. Probably Tiger's Peak is pretty pretty normal. It seemed like there was a long time where Born Good had no cooldowns, but they didn't go on him. Like they, I feel like just attacking Mez like that for that long just isn't gonna work. Like Death Knight healing, Mez is completely aware of it. He's not he's not gonna let it happen. I think they just maybe got caught up with the momentum on Mez and stuck on him too long. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, Mez literally got down to 3% health there. So, you know, when you get someone down that low, you, you have to feel like you're doing something right. But yeah, I think you're 100% correct. They need to, they needed to change that up. I don't think Mez is going to be the right kill target here um, in this scenario. But here we go. We're in. We're in game at number three. Potentially match point splice down two games against Method Orange. Can they pull it out here on Tiger's Peak and stay in it? Or is Mez, Venruki, and Born Good representing Method Orange going to continue on in this tournament in Knockout's place? Possible. It's definitely possible, it would seem. Wild to Bear, Jelly Beans, and Absurge running that jungle cleave against this Windwalker DK Holy Paladin. And you know, even though Dota's not here, I have to say, it's a pleasure getting to see Jelly Beans compete. Okay, he's on the bench a lot, man. It's cool to see him play. Uh, hopefully they can take some gains off of Method Orange. I think it would be pretty devastating to them to get 3-0'd. But Mez and Venruki are looking ominous here as they're just running across the map. Absurge positioning away, gets paralyzed temporarily, caught into the full leg sweep. They're looking for an early kill onto Absurge. Born good in the meantime, actually bopping himself, removing that murder of crows, keeping his team offensive. Absurge getting fist of fury. He drops the link in between the blood elf silences. Will the link even be enough? He's still just getting destroyed. Down at 22% HP. He's trying to cut away with those freedoms. Can he get out of line of sight in time? Mez is on the opposite side. He's just getting cut, cut off left and right. He runs left. Mez is there. He want, runs right. Venruki's there. Touch of Karma offensively on to Absurd. He has finally gotten away. Will he get the cast off to, to survive? Uh, full paralyze over onto Walter's incarnation. Uh, Born Good could still possibly be a swap target here. Seems like they're going to go on to Venruki instead. Fist of Fury, though, they're looking to still end this game. Absurd still has his trinket, still has one more link remaining. He holds on to both, gets strangulated full, though. Has that stone for him, playing it pretty greedy right now. Goes for the Battle Master play instead. Now caught into the half leg sweep. Soul Reaper is up. Will it trigger? He's going to dispel himself on that Soul Reaper. And Mez actually stole the dispel. So I think if he lands the trap, he can actually dispel it. Let's see if that ends up proving to be useful. Paralyze on the Absurge on that Aura Mastery. Venruki getting destroyed right now at 38% HP, getting rooted up. There's a full... He dispelled it! Mez has stolen the spell and removed oh. the trap. Venruki would have been in so much trouble. Sick place from Mez and Absurge is in trouble. That was the fastest to spell either, too. Full Hodge on the Absurge going to force the second Trinket Link. And uh, Absurge still not out of the water just yet, running away from his Link at this point. But Venruki's Touch of Karma is not up for 30 more seconds. I don't think he can afford to chase at this point as Born Goods being put into the the full trap. Ben Ruki's just got to go in full survival mode. He's going to port out away from Jelly Beans and Walter Bear and run for now as Born Good leaves the CC. Uh, there's the half Warven into the full cycle and Ben Ruki's in trouble. But Mez in the back foot is just putting the damage oh. into Absurge. Oh my gosh. And he goes down. He looks for the leg sweep defensively, but it doesn't matter. Down goes Ben Ruki. Mez isn't giving up. Mez is not giving up. Full Offensive Hodge. execution sentence. Can they finish him off? It's not going to be enough. Blood off silence. He's down at 28%. He has no links remaining. Can Mez keep it up? Abster just saying, no, I am not going down today. I think he actually wanted to maybe teabag Venruki there for a second. He was running onto his body. I'm surprised he didn't. He's been kind of, you know, bad manner in the waiting room. I was expecting a little bit of salt. But, uh, <laughs> nope, no salt here. He's no respecting the Mezdom. He's respecting the Mezdom indeed. All right. We're going to be jumping into the next game very, very shortly, guys. And all of a sudden, Splice is bringing it back, taking game number three against Method Orange. Can they take two more in a row, though, is the question. Method Orange now has map choice. So what maps do we have left for Method Orange, Hannah? They have Ruins of Order on and Dollar and Sewers to bring into, man. Yeah, I think it's not looking good for Absurge. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Absurge is the biggest live lord ever, but is he a big enough live lord to survive a Windwalker nope. DK on Ruins of Order on? I wish I could go back to the replay because I saw Mez use the global, the dispel global, but I think Born Good overlapped it with Trinket. Oh. 
So I think they actually ended up overlapping. Like, Mez stole that Dispel, but then Born Good trinketed it anyway, which actually right. put them behind and the Dispel was irrelevant. But it was still sick from Mez, but maybe a bit of a miscommunication or Born Good didn't think that he could Dispel it. But I, I think they did end up overlapping it, which might, is probably actually what cost them the game. All right, everybody. You probably have guessed it. But the last map, or not the last map, potentially the last map of this series is going to be on Ruins of Lordaeron. Welcome everyone to Ruins of Orderon. As we said before, this is the map where shamans go to die. And Absurd probably <laughs> wants to stop that. <laughs> I don't think he it. wants to die, dude. I don't think he wants to die. Um, let's see if he can pull it off though. We saw a Tempo Storm and a surprise comeback. Maybe Spice can pull off the same. At the Orange are gonna look are looking though to take this final match as they run across the tomb. Time to go after the blue. Absurd in full retreat, trying to get away from Mez. He's caught into that full stun. Can they finish him off? And Rookie gets knocked away. He's trying to reconnect. Now caught in the full maim. In the meantime, Born could actually bopping early on to remove that murder of crows. Absurd still under fire right now. Down at 42% HP. Good clones under Van Rookie though, but Mez steals it. Throws a clone over onto Walter with no trinket. Absurd's kind of lacking support right now. Mez is just going after him, chopping him apart, stampeding roar on the Absurd to kite away. He gets gripped back into the clutches of Mez. How much longer can he keep it up? Borgut actually still in trouble on forbearance for about one more second. Avenger Wrath comes out. This is Fury over on Absurd. He still has that trinket holding on to it for now, trying to just save himself those links. Uh, Incarnation up for Walter, trying to get some counter pressure, maybe looking for a clone. He gets paralyzed on the clone. Then Rookie reconnecting onto Absurd. They really need to look to either finish him off or get at least a trinket with this next set of stuns. There's the full strangulate onto Absurd. Surely he's going to have to stone form it. Then Rookie gets cloned up, and Absurd is aware of the situation, holds on to it cooldowns. Soul Reaper might trigger your pre-links before any potential stuns. Born Good is forced to bubble, and surprisingly enough, Spice are forcing the cooldowns. They're looking fairly well right now. Aura Mastery up from Absurge. Looks for the Hex. He gets gripped on the end of the Hex cast. Paralyzed on the Walter. He can't support an Absurge. How are you going to survive? There's the Leg Sweep. He's going to trinket out of it, and that's the last link right before the last, or the that very recent Fist of Fury coming out from Venruki. Denounces flying in onto Absurds at 30% health here. He has literally no buttons left to his arsenal. Can he do it? He's gonna, actually going to get interrupted on that cast at 19% health here. Mez is just going to put him into the ground and say, what's up? I'm here to play. It's Method Orange, and we're going to eliminate Splice from the tournament. Tournament number three. But you have to Give credit where credit's due. Of course, Splice is was playing amazing. I mean, even the Nox, the small things like the Nox and the Fist of Fury coming up from Jelly Beans to try to keep his Shaman alive was just incredible play, but just wasn't enough to be able to beat Method Orange. And Method Orange are going to continue <laughs> in know. this bracket. It might not be entertaining for Absurds to get trained, but it's definitely entertaining for the rest of us to watch. <laughs> is that mean? Is that a mean thing to say? No, 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 no. I mean, it's really, really awesome. I, like, you know, even though Blues hate being trained, it's actually so fun to watch them be trained, I have to say. Sorry for all the Blues out there, but it, it's true. It's, it's pure entertainment to watch you be trained. <laughs> it's so much fun to watch the Blues die. All right, shout out goes to my homies over at Splice. Thank you for competing, guys, and I hope to see you again soon. Taking a quick look at that bracket, it's Cloud9 versus Please Sponsor Us up next, and Method Black versus Donut, and that's coming up next in round two of the upper bracket. But before we 